on. On a volcano, abandoned bunker, in a country where no one really speaks English. Oh my yeah. gosh, look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a house down there. Okay, well we've got to the location we're gonna dig at. My first hit is a ring. Oh my gosh, how amazing is that? You. We're on a volcano. All right, well we made it to the volcano. I figured we'd do a little exploring because this is exciting. Now we can't actually metal detect here, um, but we are gonna go to a place later to metal detect. But let's explore while we're here. It smells kind of funny. It smells like volcano, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is really cool. Wow, all right, let's check it out. In case you're wondering what volcano this is, it's called Etna. And we are in Sicily, in Italy, on the boot. That would have been awesome! <laughs> oh my god! No! Somebody is gonna get hurt! No! No! That's a horrible idea! <laughs> like a goat. <laughs> I'm going around. You guys are crazy. Tim, you're going to get hurt. Oh my god. All right, so all the guys went up and over the cliff <laughs> and I was coming up and around and I discovered this old bunker up on this hill of this volcano um so I have David with me he's kind of our camera guy I'm like hey you want to go check that out I'm gonna go check it out real quick if Drew was here he'd be like don't go up and check that out by yourself and I'd be like get David with me <laughs> what could go wrong on a volcano, abandoned bunker, in a country where no one really speaks English. Um, yeah, let's go check out this old abandoned bunker on a volcano. Great decision making, Jocelyn. Here we go. I think it's not a bunker. It was an old house. An old house. It's pretty cool though.
Must have been quite the view from up here. I'm gonna go up the steps. Taking the view. Just like they had taken in the view. Ah, yeah. Inside the box. Yes. Can you imagine having this house out here and waking up to this view every morning? And then wondering every morning if the volcano is going to erupt and you're going to burn to death? <laughs> or become like one of those Pompeii mummies that's just like forever entombed? Yeah, sounds like fun. Look what I found! Oh, there you are. Yeah! You found some ruins. I did! Cool. And I decided to climb up top like any true adventurer. Alright, let's see if we can get down from here without dying. That was fun. Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. That was a fun adventure. Okay, well we are on location getting ready to go dig some old stuff. Very exciting. I'm a little bit car sick, so my energy level might be down here. But by the time we hike out to wherever it is we're going to be digging, my energy level will be back up here, I, I think, because I did eat a cookie in the car. So I'm gonna be all sugared up and like really like bouncing off the walls. If there are no walls because we're in the woods. Right, Tim? Yeah. Yeah. You ate it you didn't eat it. <laughs> I I crumb crumbled yeah. crumbles basically. Fantastic. Filming you, filming <laughs> Looking around. Is this the magic gate that leads to the nectar? We're, we're just, we're gonna go. Are we in Germany? Are we in Germany right now? <laughs> Are we? <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure, right? Absolutely. Okay, well we've got to the location we're gonna dig at, and my first hit is a ring. Oh my gosh, how amazing is that? <laughs> Check it out! I don't know if it's a... Uh, just a junk ring. Ring up pretty high, but... Let's see what it focuses. It's pretty light. Oh, there's a mark in there. Cool. Not bad for our first find. Sweet. Yeah, we got a ring. Got a ring? Yeah. It's an anel. Un rosario. Oh my gosh, so I just dug a hole to China and I was so excited because I thought I had a gold coin, but apparently European coins are gold. Look at this. Look at this. What kind of cruel joke is this? 20, 20 cents. Oh my gosh. That's so cruel. All right, so. I figured I'd give you a view of kind of where we're detecting right now. Because it is very beautiful.
We're in the forest. So far all I've really dug is the 20 cent euros and I dug the ring right over there. Everyone else has gone up on the hill there. And I think that's where I'm probably gonna go next. Let's see what we can find. All right, well, we've got a buckle. That's exciting. It's a big D buckle. We get those all the times in the States, but this is our first Italian D buckle. So that makes it like super extra exciting. Check this out. Yeah, very, very exciting. Shaped just like the letter D. Let's stick that in the pouch and we're gonna keep going. I think we're probably gonna head up and around that direction. It's really cool because like all the trees are like charred. I don't know if you can see, but the, the base of the trees are all charred. It's a really interesting place. Um, but yeah, let's go up and around and see what else we can find. Maybe we'll find a couple more of those really cool D buckles. Or maybe some coins or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I need another cookie. Well, I knew if I wandered these woods long enough, I would come across some form of old civilization, right? So I found this rock wall. I found this old foundation. And now everybody's ready to go. So, I guess we're leaving. They're making animal noises. So I'm going to detect for like two more minutes just so I can say, okay, well, there was nothing here. Even though right through that stone wall, there's a big open field. Like not an open field. There's still trees, but it's nice and open. I guarantee there's good stuff in there. I'm going to have to go home knowing that if I just went through that rock wall, I found tons of coins. So right here... I've got some sort of structure at one point. This was a structure of some sort. I guess similar to a uh, cellar hole back in the States. Old road right here. I mean, this is where I'd want to hit it, but they're yelling for me through the forest, so I must answer their call. That looks like bread. It is bread. Is it? Is it bread? Are you sure? Salute! 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 Mama! From Texas. So, best meat and the garden. We didn't eat all our food, did we? <laughs> Were you wasteful, Steve? No, I ain't fine. Did you, eat all, did you finish your plate? No, I did not. It was too much food. I don't eat very much, I'm kind of like a little bird. But it was very delicious. It was good. It was very delicious. So we just had lunch, okay. and now we're gonna go and we're gonna find more stuffs. I think it's the plan, but Absolutely. ate way too much food. Oh, look at you, you've got yes. a little... This... I received three bottles of water for free to finish the day, because uh, it will be a hard day today. Yes. I need to follow you all the day. And this is where we have a wonderful moment. Yes. I think I speak. I speak. Be yes. Hey, I come from Belgium. It's very difficult for me to speak English. <laughs> but I do my best. I do my best. But you, you, you know, do all right. You do all right. Follow you. They they do everything to see you. And I think I think if you want to learn English or if you want to try to travel to follow reco really recoveries, put a comment. I'm sure. I'm you will do the same. <laughs> Two months ago, I was unable to speak English, but the first time I see a video of really recovery, you learned I English. Say, I need to learn. You English. need to learn and English you know, so you can, can talk speak to me. English. No, I can't. It's just so you can talk to me, right? Yes, just to speak to you. Yes. Yes, because I, 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 I say to me, I can. I must. <laughs> I do. Okay, you you're killing me. On, you're on killing the, me. On this video, you put a comment in really recoverist. I trust. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it was David. Oh, you're killing me. David, the man we make video for Garrett. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And whether you're looking for your first metal detector or you'd like to upgrade your current machine, we carry the full line of Garrett metal detectors. And I put a link to our website down in the description. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna take you home.